Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and this is Soulstone Survivors. And I have not played this game in a little while, but they did recently release a new update for it, so I want to definitely give this a try. Um, we've got the Sentinel leveled up as uh, our main character basically. I did open a few guys, the Paladin looks pretty interesting. The Sentinel of course is a speedier character with less health and body mass, but um, I think I'm going to continue to progress with him. I do have a new bow, so we've got the Executioner of Souls. This is a pretty sweet weapon here. We were able to craft this up, and I think we're going to jump into a new run, so let's do it here. Now, uh, this first map, I have gotten to the first tier. I think this one I'm still working. Yeah, on the first tier here. It's hard to tell. Okay, this one's been checked off, so I guess... This one's farther along than this one is, I assume. It's hard to tell. I'm not familiar. It's been a while since I played, but this is the first starting map. Let's just jump into that one. I also, I'm not sure which resources I need. It's been so long since I checked that out. But uh, we'll go through, and I'll, I'll, acquire, I'll figure all that stuff, what we need to acquire after this one. I just want to get my feet wet again, get... Uh, Get some my muscle memory going again for the game. Oh yeah, I forgot we've got dashes here. That's awesome. A little extra speed for our character. And he is a fast character too, so that's important. And it looks like we've got, what are these, locusts or um, cicadas coming after us? Dung beetles maybe? Rhinoceros beetles? Something. Some sort of weird, I think it is a rhino beetle. But uh, these enemies, that's definitely something right away that I notice a difference. There's... I don't remember seeing these enemies the last time I played. There's probably been a lot of changes too. It's been, I don't know, three or four months since I played, maybe a little bit longer. But this was, whoa. This was always a really fantastic game. Take on this kind of vampire survivors genre. You know, uh, let's see here, what do we want first? The cast frequency is very important. Yeah, we don't activate it. It just goes on its own, of course. Now, we do choose directional, you know. So, if, I, if I'm if i shooting in the wrong direction, I'm not going to be doing any good. So, i got to keep that in mind. But I like that aspect. I think directionality is uh, an added dimension to games like this, which can help you, which can help make it a little bit more entertaining. i got to take this guy out right here. This looks like a genie or something, a djinn. Don't want to get too close to him. As I recall too though, in this one, it's like you can actually kind of brush up against enemies. They they have to strike you though, you know, before you'll lose health. And maybe some enemies aren't like that, but it's not a like a guaranteed loss of health just for brushing up against somebody. It's another key difference to certain games like this. But man, my initial combat or my initial shot is kind of weak, isn't it? Okay, here we go. This is what we want. Now, my first ability is a projectile missile frontal burst physical. So I want to try and find as many things that have those share those same traits in common. Looks like the shadow bolt is the best missile physical. So we've got missile, uh, missile and physical on this one too. I wish it was projectile, but it's not. So later on, we can possibly change that if we want. Okay. Now we're dropping whole groups. Yeah, see how much more power it is? Oh, impending doom. Every time you apply a stack of doom, there's 50% chance of playing dazed. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, once you get a couple extra active abilities, man, it can make you a little bit more powerful. Or a lot more powerful. Let's do, yeah, spontaneous combustion. Sure, sure. I'll take it. Oh, we got the big sn the snake on us. Spitting Cobra. And he's down. Suction Bomb. Ooh, here we go. Projectile Missile Frontal. This is what we want. Sniper Shot. Yeah, because as we go along, there'll be other abilities that'll level up, like all of our missile, for instance, or all of our projectile. All right, let's see Ooh, more spontaneous combustion, touch of ice, fragility. What does this do? Increases all damage received. Uh, let's do that one. Help us kill quicker. 
Looks like we got a health uh, jewel up over there. Don't have to worry about it yet, though. Don't need it. Oh, I just already destroyed it, though. There's another one. Ooh, they're everywhere. Death protections. Any attacks that would kill you restores your health to 50% instead. That's cool. I forgot I picked that up. That must have been something I spent some currency on or something. There we go. Mm, crit multiplier. Yes, please. I'm trying to get some of these ores, too. Still feel a little bit underpowered, but I'm sure that'll change. There we go. What do we got? Split shot? Okay. Um, yeah, split shot for sure. Not necessarily going to do every single attack in like a projectile, frontile, missile, but the majority of them will be. Let's see. Faithful strikes. Yeah, I want to try and get as many debuffs going as possible. That makes life a lot easier. Ooh, desperation. Every time you apply a stack of days, there's a 50% chance to burn as well. I like it. Oh, here we go. Another ice missile frontal. That's cool. Yeah, we'll go frost bolt. Uh, bomb frontal burst. Chaos bomb. I mean, these aren't bad either, but... Trying to go with as many common traits as possible. Plus, I'm so geared on, like, my frontal attacks already. I feel like just stacking those is helpful. We've got one more slot for an active power. And then we can change them out as we go. Oh, boy. we got the big ugly boy here. Come here. You. Don't stand in the fire, as they say. Whoa, oh, multicast. Yeah, increase the multicast chance of all your skills of the frontal type. That's literally all of them but one, basically. Oops. Yep, multicast for sure. Hmm. We're draining his power. He's going down pretty good. Trying to pick up as many. Oh, here we go. Chaos Golem. Yeah, so that's obviously a, like a summoning ability but the dude is so tanky those golems are awesome all right he's down he's down folks let's go get our reward uh damage increase sure yes let's double up the damage yes please all right it did take a little bit of a health hit there so i'm gonna be looking out for some healing crystals there we go i see one let's get it pick up all these extra jewels kind of i kind of left the battlefield and just went off on my own there for a second i had to heal up though all right where's the golems where are they at here they are up here <laughs> oh causing trouble okay now this is interesting because i've got what does that want to get rid of projectile shadow shadow boat's cool i might get rid of sniper shot but hmm because it's the only one that's really not adding its own debuff on there. I guess spread shot's not either, but that's the first skill we start with. Can I get rid of that? Uh, anyway, let's see. Lightning bolt is electrical, missile, magical, ice area, magical, projectile, static, some. This is an interesting one. I think we'll stick with some passives for now. I might, I might look to replace something down the road. But let's just keep going. Yeah, man, these golems, whew, they are good. Oh, I'm going to get some magnetic for sure. Make my life a lot easier. Yeah, the golems draw so much aggro, though. For a character like the Sentinel, I feel like that's really, really great skill to pick. I'm sure any summon would be good, but the, the golems seem especially suited to the tanking task. Oh, boy. Let's see, they're really throwing the ballista at me, aren't they? Mm, let's go passive. Attack speed. Increase the cast frequency of Frostbolt. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh my god, I got stuck for a second. Uh oh. 
Mm, can't see it. Oh, okay. Increase the area modifier of additional. I don't think we have a lot of area. Well, we'll do that. All right, let's go. When in doubt, just go with the epic power. That's my motto. Where's he at? Damage increase the shadow bolt. Oh, let's do crit multiplier on the sniper shot. That's like, that's really what that thing has going for it, is it's crit. I'm over here, buddy. Oh, um, hmm. Okay, this one's interesting. Blood lost, empower you and all your nearby allies, increasing the movement speed by an additional da-da-da. That's kind of cool. Um, I think we'll stick with our loadout. I'm kind of liking the way it is. Thermal shock every time you apply a stack of burn. Damage increase to spread shot. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, where'd that big old saw come from? <gasps> That's where it came from. He threw it. And I got hit. Oh, I'm getting hit. No. Uh, increase quantity. Yes. I need more. More allies. All right, this is okay. We'll be able to heal up. Let's see. All your attacks have 20% chance to apply doom. Doom it is. He's down. He's down. Okay, the big boy's down. Let's go get some healing. What do you say? Uh, void, Ice Vortex, and uh, Bloodlust. Oh, look at that. Multicast of all my missile types. That's huge. That's a lot. I've got a lot of missile types. Okay, I need some healing crystals. Where are they? <gasps> Almost got caught by that snake's poison attack. I need to conserve my dashes a little bit more. I'm so... Ooh... Epic power, your crit strikes have a 100% chance of applying wound. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I have a bad habit of just hitting my my dashes like constantly, just pounding the space bar. Fire shield's okay. Yeah, we'll do relentless. But yeah, at this point, it's more important to keep some dashes in reserve so I can uh, avoid some of the bigger strikes. Especially once the boss comes out. Oh, there's some ore. Nice. Hmm. Ballista. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Another increased quantity. Yeah. It's so hard to choose anything else when you got that beautiful epic color. Purple color just staring you in the face. Healing crystals. Go get them, golems. All right, so we've got about less than 200 more to kill before the boss comes out. Hmm, damage increase. Increase the damage modifier of all projectiles. Look at that. Yeah, let's do that. So there you go. That's why we're trying to get as many like traits as possible. Similarity across the board. Don't get stuck there talking to those guys. Magnetic. Oh, baby. We just got ourselves our first legendary. And it better not be the last one, either. Nice. Oh, there he is. The incarnation of ice. Well, when I say incarnation, it makes me think of carnation instant breakfast. And then I get hungry and thirsty at the same time. Okay, bud. Your little minions are trying to slow me down. But guess what? You're dead already. What do we want here? Um, increase your damage by an additional, but subtracts 10% for movement. Nah. Increase cast frequency. Yeah, we'll do that. Ooh. Giant mutated scorpion. Ugh. Yeah, they've definitely added substantially to the different kinds of monsters and stuff that appear. This is awesome. Lethality. Yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> oh, there's more ore. I don't know if I need it. I probably don't, but I'm just going to get it. Dude, so, oh, I missed the giant boss crystal. Damn. Fragility. Oh, don't I already have that? I think I do. Okay, what do we need? Mm, about 250 more kills and the next boss will spawn. Let's do it. Get them all together. Guys, come to me. 
Everybody group to me. See, the bird knows where he's going. Dude, he died. He died quick. There is an awesome ability. I forgot what it's called, but it's like you get a crit, auto crit on any uh, enemy that is 100% health. Look, another legendary, dude. Hell yes. Yeah, but no, auto crit on any full power guy or full health dude, I should say. That's awesome. I want that ability. I also want the ability that gives me an extra dash. <laughs> My little elf character isn't happy. I'm happy with three dashes. It's not enough. Oh, lethality. Increased crit damage chance. Yes. More crit chance. I love how everybody's just fighting my golems, thinking they're the real threat, but little do they know. Hey, look, increase the number of dashes. Boom, there it is. Ask and ye shall receive. I must have rub uh, rubbed the correct golden lamp there. Mm, let's go with passives. Increase your crit damage modifier. Let's do that. <gasps> Incarnation of fire. Oh, what's he doing? Who's he attacking? Who are you attacking, buddy? What are you shooting at the mountain? Hey, he's hitting my... He's hitting one of my guys, I'm sure of it. Oh, now he's going for me. Sorry, bro. Um, let's see. Increase damage to spread shot. Let's do that. Oh, he's dead already. Jesus, that was quick. Um... Yeah, damage increase to the Frostbolt. Let's just start getting damage increases across the board. All right, I'm getting hit. What's up with that? Playing a little too careless. Where is the healing crystals at? I know that there are, like, little buffs you can buy that will increase the amount of healing you receive from those. I should look into that. Um, touch of ice. Let's do it. I don't see, I don't think there's any on the map right now. Should get to destroy these stupid trees. Oh, there it is. There's some. <laughs> Full health already. It's a good thing about having a low HP. It doesn't take much to fill it right back up. When you feel strong again. Take this guy out. Hey, buddy. Damn, these guys are strong. They look little mini bosses here. We're about 250 away from the next Void Lord or whatever what they're called. I'm almost leveled up. There we go. Crit multiplier. Yeah. Give me, give me the crits. Oh no, I'm stuck on the rock. Oh no. What will I do? Use one of my four dashes? I can't believe how much these, like, Egyptian lizard things, literally, how much health they have. You're making it hard for me to summon the next Void Lord by not dying quicker. Come on. Just get down. There's somebody. Um, let's see here. Increase your damage, crit damage modifier. Let's do that. Powerful strikes. Wait, is that the Void Lord? No, oh, that ain't the Void Lord. That's just a regular enemy. Keeps throwing around twisters and stuff. Oh boy. Getting serious over here now, folks. Where's this Void Lord? I got one more. He's almost up. Almost up. There he is. Don't get caught. Do not get caught. Bro. He's just freaking out up here. Hmm. What a time for a level up. Give me powerful strikes. I need more damage. I need all kinds of damage. I hate how he's got himself wedged between these rocks like this. Like no open area over here. Jesus Christ. Took a massive hit. Oh, there's some health. No! 
He's coming for me. Bro, I just picked up so much XP right there. He's almost down, but I don't care. I'm just going for... I'm getting greedy. I know timing is a factor. I should kill him. Okay, there we go. Woohoo, we got an achievement too. Sweet. All right. Oh, and one more level here. Let's do Faithful Strikes. That's cool. All right, you guys. Well, we have destroyed the old boss Rooney for this level. Now we get our choice here. Of course, we can go end it, I think, by going through the blue one. Is that right? Or we hit the purple uh, or go deeper. Yeah, escape the void or go deeper. So I think we're going to go deeper, guys. But it's going to wait for the next episode. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow to check out the next installment of the uh, Sentinel run here at Soulstone Survivors. Hit that like and subscribe, guys, if you are enjoying this content. Leave me some comments down below. Tips and tricks are always appreciated. And I will see you guys on the next one.